Here we will see event handling in ASP.NET. An event is an action or occurrence such as mouse click, key press, mouse movement or any system generated notifications. A process communicates through events. For example, interrupts are system generated events. When event occurs, the application should be able to respond to it and manage it. Events in ASP.NET raised at the client machine and handled at the server machine. For example, when a user clicks a button displayed in the browser, a click event is raised. The browser handles this client side event by posting it to the server. The server has a subroutine describing what to do when the event is raised, which is called event handler. Therefore, when the event message is transmitted to the server, it checks whether the click event has an associated event handler. If it has, the event handler is executed. Here event is raised at client machine and it is passed to the server. Server sends it to appropriate event handlers and event handler executes the event. Next we will see event arguments. ASP.NET event handlers generally take two parameters and return void. The first parameter represents the object rising the event and second parameter is event argument. General syntax of event is private void event name with parameters object as a sender and event arguments. Where object argument represents the object that raised the event and event argument is the event object contains any event specific information. Different types of events in ASP.NET are application and session events, page event and control events. First we will see application and session events. Most important application events are application start which is raised when the application or website is started. Application end event is raised when the application or website is stopped. And most used session events are Session start, which is raised when a user first requests a page from the application. And session end event raised when the session ends. Next we will see page events. First is pre-init. This event is used for recreation of dynamic controls, setting the master page and the theme property, get or set the profile values and verify each postback property. Init event is raised when the all controls are initialized. Init complete event is raised by the page object. Preload event is used to perform processing on the page or control before the execution of load event. Load event is raised when the control or page is loaded. Load complete event is used when the controls on the page is loaded. Pre-render event is raised before the ensure child controls property for the control on the page is called. Render method sends the control markup to the web browser. Unload event is raised for every controls on the web page. Next is control event. Some of the common control events are as follows. First is click event. The onclick attribute is executed when the button is clicked. The controls associated with the click event are button, image button, link button and image map. Next is text change event. The on text change attribute is executed when the text value is changed. The controls associated with the text change event is text box. Next is command event. The on command attribute is executed when the command is issued. The controls associated with the command event are image button, link button and button. Next is checked changed event. The on checked change attribute is executed when the check mark is changed. The controls associated with the checked change event are radio button and checkbox. Next is selected index changed event. The on selected index change attribute is executed when the index is modified. 
the controls associated with the index change events are drop down list radio button list checkbox list and list box next is data binding which is raised when the control is bound to the data source there are two types of events in asp.net as postback and non postback event the events which cause the form to be posted back to the server immediately are known as postback events and the non postback events are not posted back immediately back to the server the auto postback property is set to true for making the non postback event as postback